Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first of the 2013 LeverX webinars. The LeverX webinar series is a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled Fundamentals of Product Structure Management in SAP PLM 70X. This webinar will describe and demonstrate the basic capabilities of product structure management in SAP PLM 70X. SAP has enhanced their SAP PLM solutions through the addition of market-leading features and benefits around managing product configurations and variants. These include using product structures to model a multi-level product hierarchy with a greater level of flexibility than the modeling available in bomb maintenance. Also, using a redundancy-free description of products or product families with many variants, and an integrated data model for efficient product structure management, and using variant configuration and variant management capabilities with the option of working with configurable materials. My name is Ralph Davis, Marketing Manager at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic for today's webinar, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX assists companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. Okay. Uh, again, Eric Steida, PLM Practice Director here at LeverX. Uh, as Ralph has mentioned, we're going to do kind of a brief, what I'm going to start with here is kind of a brief uh, overview introduction to what is product structure management in SAP. Uh, we'll then talk a bit about the benefits. So kind of walk through what are some of the benefits uh, of uh, implementing, what are some of the nice things about it uh, that take, take beyond the traditional kind of uh, uh, PLM uh, type things. Uh, Rohan, uh, my colleague, will give a system demonstration and then we'll follow up with questions. Um, I wanted to preface with today is that this is really an introduction. So this is a uh, product structure management can be a very kind of complex topic with lots of features and functionalities. And the tool is very robust in doing uh, lots of different things. What we wanted to do today was just kind of give an overview of uh, what the common business scenario is, what the tool is capable of, and actually so show a demonstration. Uh, today we will not uh, show all features and functions, so this is just meant to be kind of an overview uh, to give you a good flavor of what's, what's possible. Okay. Uh, as Ralph discussed, product structure management, we look at what is it really in uh, SAP. So when we talk about that, we're talking about management of uh, the structure of the products that, that you're building. Uh, we're also talking management of highly uh, variant structures uh, in SAP PLM. So we're also looking at the tool for management of product structures in the early development phase without the need to employ uh, the master data. So what this is important for is we can start uh, building up our product structures early uh, without having to uh, create all our material masters and documents and things like that. We can start with, the, with concepts. Today I'm going to talk about product structure management and give you a demonstration on its functionality. Our agenda for today is to learn how to create a product structure, learn how to create a product variant, item variants, how to assign components, how to assign materials to the components, learn the use of classi classification and characteristics, learn the use of process routes, and learn how to generate a bill of material from a product structure, that is synchronized PSM to bond. Moving on to my next slide, this is the flowchart. This is the diagrammatic representation of a product structure. As you all can see, the top level is the product family. The product family consists of the product views, the product items, and the product item variants. The product view, uh, it, it, it generally used to structure a product structure on a user-specific basis. It is important to create a product view in a scenario where we have multiple elements. Moving on to our next level, that is the product item. As the name suggests, uh, it consists of the actual components uh, of your product structure. 
and the last level that is the product item variance. It is an it is an object that represents your product items. A product item can have multiple product variants. For example, let me take the same example that's on your screen, the box model. The box model has four different items, product items, top, handle, seat, and the body. The box body can be made up of either steel or aluminum. So steel and aluminum here are the product item variants. So therefore, uh, product structure management provides us with this uh, functionality where we can have a product structure with all these different variants even before you create a bill of material. So, so when you're ready and you know what component you want, not just the component, but what component type you're looking mm -hmm. for, you would have the product structure ready. All you would have to do is pick the component, the component type, and generate your bill of material and proceed. So this is all about the, uh, the basic definitions about the product structure and the different levels in the product structure. Let's move on uh, to the demonstration now. So I'll quickly log in to my SAP NetBeaver business client. So for those uh, who would like to know what SAP NetBeaver business client is, it is a desktop client. It offers a single point of entry to all your SAP and non-SAP applications, including WebDIN Pro and SAP GUI. It is mainly a role-based application for, for different types of your applications. Sorry, I guess. Password, OK. Now I'm in. So as I said, your NetWeaver business client is a role-based application. You can see the product, product engineering role here on the top. And on the left side, I have uh, a menu with all these bunch of different functions. The functions that we are concerned with today is the product structure. So let me go ahead and select product structure. I click product structure, and it displays these services below. So let us go ahead and create a product structure. So I'll click product structure to lead me to another screen. Led me to this screen called create product structure. Now, if you can recall uh, the flow chart, the, the topmost level was the product family. So let's go ahead and create the product family first. So from this drop down, I'll select product family. As you can see, there are three different options: one for product family, product item, and view. You can. Uh, this is a single point from where you create your product family items and the product view. 